gonna try at least once more. I can kind of try to streamline it a little bit. I know where to spend time. Getting extra lives and, and, and the like. Get the extra life here. That was a warm-up. I like it. Thanks, Trashy. It's on now, Anti-Gamer. It's for reals now, I agree. Taking no snake prisoners this time. As if I took snake prisoners earlier, last run. Which I don't think I did, but... Alright, let's go. There's a clock up there, I don't care. It's game time now. It's scale time now. Hockey puck time. It's a cross between... It's like a hybrid between a hockey puck and a raisin. Level 1's easy, folks. Easy peasy. I'm gonna be dreaming of this music in my sleep. You know what I think is kind of funny? They came up with, like, a lot of enemies, like, for them to appear, like, twice. Like, there's this weird bouncing mushroom, and it shows up, like, a whole two or three times in the whole game. What do we got here? Another key? Double key? I think somewhere is another bonus level, so... I think with that key, you could probably get that extra life up there. I should try that next time. The yellow ones are so quick. You see the little giblets he spits out whenever he eats? I just noticed that. He's a very sloppy eater. What's this? A clock? I don't need no clock. Bobby G don't need no clock. Just everything about my channel is a clock, that's all. Four or five mushrooms total. You time king. <laughs> oh, survivor lady, you kill me. Weird snake creatures are not known for their manners. That's true. I mean, who could blame them, I guess? Extra life, me, Johnny. Alright. Get rid of this toilet seat. Uh, I don't really need the tongue upgrade, so I'm just gonna go for the bonus level. Bonus. Think you could run for me, huh? Mm -mm. Alright, here's one of the continues that uh, Lothrazar was telling me about. Definitely good to get that. I think my ta tail's glowing already. Yes, it is. That power-up changes your directions around. I don't really care for that. There's another bonus level here that I may as well get. Don't really need it, but I like it. I think this is... I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's the only level I'm aware of that has... Uh... Two bonus stages in it. Just gonna check for extra lives. Don't really need anything here. There's an extra life within this uh, Bigfoot type creature. I'll be honest, both of those sounds upset me the scale and the extra life. I do love the way you spit out the legs. I know. <laughs> He's like, this part I don't want. <laughs> I wonder if the purple snake has any better manners. My compatriot, Mr. Roll. 
All right, here we go. I don't want the key. I liked it, the jump attack. Often underutilized. Extra life here, maybe? I forget. Ah, bomb. Uh, ooh, I caught the yellow one. Let's see our invisible, whatever. Now let's see if I can not get in my own head about this jump here. I got in my own head, like what the heck? How many times am I gonna die on this? Just once. Hey, what's up, Dr. Spangler? Welcome, man. Happy Fourth of July to you, buddy. How's it going? You're missing the fire- or you're hearing fireworks. No, not recommended at all, Mr. Monet. Penelope is enjoying the sweet embrace of the central air unit. That's all the noise she needs tonight. Yeah, this this year's uh, interesting to say the least for all the wrong reasons, man. I hope you're you and your family are doing all right, all things considered. This this part's tough. I don't want to lose a life here. For real? Oh my gosh! Oh, get me out of here! Come on. I almost fell. That would have been awful. I hope so too, survival lady. Here's hoping. It'll be good for you. At least you're getting the puppy. In town, I'm hearing fireworks going off all around our house, says Anti-Gamer. The puppies are freaking out. I know. And I figure there'll probably still be fireworks tomorrow. But hopefully not much more after that. Here's we'll get the tongue upgrade, I guess. I'm gonna get this directional thing just to get it out of the way. Bomb it up. Yellow. Mellow yellow. May as well get the easy peasy food while it's here. My tail's glowing already, so that's all I need, really. There's an extra life here. Ow. My leg hurts. My sister's having her... Oh, very good, Survival Lady. I'm very glad to hear that. Ant Survivor Lady. I like the sound of that. thing to to go away. Okay, it's gone. I got in my own head again about these easy jumps. My goodness. I'm not pleased with that. I got so much time, I don't know what to do with it. Give me an extra life back, please, Mr. Foot. Yeah! I'll take it. Oh, wow, I didn't realize you had that many already, Survival Lady. That's great. Alright, I'm not pleased that I lost a few lives kind of unnecessarily there, but still not the worst by far. Hey, Linny! 
Maybe this will be the run, Lenny. We'll see. We shall see. This is where it actually gets a little more difficult than the last levels. Lady sounds like you have a very big family. The key makes you go fast. I don't want it. Come on, power up. Gigahertz, what's up, man? It ain't easy being 10 GZ. <laughs> it ain't easy being 10 GZ. What's up, buddy? Thank you very much for the subscription. For 10 months, I appreciate that support, man. Four siblings total, Survivor Lady. What's up, 10 Gigahertz? Happy 4th of July to you, man. You do any grilling or anything special today? Thank you again for the subscription. practice in this game. Hopefully we'll be able to beat it sometime soon. Oh boy. If he jumped on that square I was done for. Doing work? Oh, really, man? On the 4th of July? All right. All right. I'm a middle child. Is that good or bad in your opinion, Survival Lady? How's Weidenbach been? I haven't seen him in a while. You guys still work at the same place? This level's tough, I think. But per Lothruzar's information, I'm going to try to get that extra continuum. You don't care? Not much you could do about it anyway, I guess. Still same place? That's good, I guess. For real? Slow and steady wins the race. I gotta kill these drill bit looking Christmas trees one at a time here. He's good as far as I know. I haven't seen him in ages because of the plague. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, hopefully he's doing alright. Now let's see if I can get this. Oh. Well, I died, but I got a whole continue, so it's probably a worthwhile trade, I'd say, for sure. It's like trading one life to get three later, so that's fine. Music's going to town. How have you been dealing with the plague, 10 gigahertz? I hope you're doing all right. Ah, I always get hit there. For real? Dang it. Probably gonna die. I don't know how to kill that thing. It's at an odd angle. And I don't have any snake tail. I'm just a, just a snake head. Where did it go? There it is. There, I guess I'll just hit it like this. Alright, I don't know why I made that so hard. Doing good, don't know anyone personally that has it. Same here, luckily. Hopefully it stays that way. At this point, man, I've been sitting in my house for almost four months. 
I don't want to get it now. Because then it's like, well, what did I do the last four months? You know, what did I sit in my house for if I was just going to eventually get it anyway? So now I'm like really afraid to get it. <laughs> Alright, not happy about losing a life there, but I'm still doing okay. Whoa! That works. Glad you're doing good though, 10 gigahertz. No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to have happen. What is this game and how much is it? Well, this game's called Snake Rattle and Roll, and it's a Nintendo game. So, I mean, let's say, I guess if you had a Nintendo, you could go buy the game somewhere and play it. But there's other ways you could accomplish the same thing. You know what I'm saying. But I own a copy of the game anyway, so I suppose that's the prerequisite for using ROMs. Or so they say, anyway. Can I get up there? Come on now. There we go. I gotta kill this thing. Yep, old school NES. Come on, water jet. Oh. Okay, is there gonna be any? Uh, is there gonna be any Christmas trees to jump at me? And there's one right there to kill me. I feel like I need to practice this level now over and over. Can I kill this thing? There we go. I'm willing to bet they put that there on purpose, 10 gigahertz. Can you believe that? There, finally. Oh, I'm just going for it. I'm using a, an emulator called Retro Arch, which is the first time, but it's pretty good. I don't know if that helps you, Retro Arch. I think you'd like it, Survivor Lady. It's difficult at times, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm just trying to beat it, but it's also fun to explore the levels. There's like little secrets here and there. I think it's fun overall. It has a little bit of everything in it. What's new, man? 10 gigahertz, anything good? I've been just working from home. Which is uh, lucky that I'm able to be doing that. But now it's like I just hang out in my basement all the time because I work from home there. And then my personal computer is also there for when I'm not working. I'm the classic basement dweller. Come here, fish. You're working in the office still? Ah, okay. I'd be too distracted at home. Yeah, it's not easy. Lucky, I mean, lucky in a way for me, I, I have to work from home. The office is not open. Which saves me a couple hours a day of not driving there and wasting a lunch hour doing nothing, so... For that reason, I don't know who wants to go back to the way it was. Like, yes, let me just waste three hours a day unnecessarily compared to before. Who wants to do that? I've been doing the elliptical at lunchtime. It's great. Yeah, but not everyone's in the same boat, I understand. Here's a look at the clock here.
but my dog Penelope, of course, she just wants to play all day, and she obviously doesn't understand the concept of work, so... She's just like, oh, you're home, let's play. And then she's just like bothering you every 10 minutes. You're like, I can't. And then you disappoint her and you feel bad. And you're like, all right, fine, let's go out for a minute. A minute turns into 10 and then you come back and you don't remember what you're working on. You're like, oh my God, I gotta actually do stuff. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. 10 minutes away is not bad. It's almost an hour for me, like 50 minutes. So it's a nice, nice waste of time, if you want to call it a waste. I mean, obviously, it's good to have a job, so... Alright, we made it! Yeah, exactly, man. The boss is like, oh, why aren't you getting anything done? Sorry, boss, I'm getting distracted every ten minutes. Which I guess would be also possible in the office, too, but it feels different. Gotta start your day by taking her for a long walk. Save three hours travel time. You gotta spend at least an hour on the dog. Yeah, that's true. We do go for a walk almost every day. Almost. Um, back in the fall, we used to play over an hour in the backyard with a tennis ball. And I thought that that would be something she always wanted to do, but now I found that she gets hot in the summertime within like 10 minutes. So she doesn't want to play as much anymore. But she still wants to go for the walks, that's for sure. Anti Gamer, here's the salt monster, let's see. Oh, still happened. Oh. At least I got one extra life back. The food just taunting me, flying all over. That's a bomb, not food. Got you. Another bomb. Nobody wants that. What kind of dog is she? Uh, I think she's like a Labrador Hound mix is what the legend says. Uh, I just posted a picture to Twitter of her. I forget if you're on Twitter or not. Not that you have to go see look if you don't want to, but... Uh, I guess she's just a mutt, basically. We adopted her from a shelter. She's cute. She's like a medium-sized dog. She's like 50... She was 47 pounds when we got her. She's probably like 55 now. But she was a little skinny before. Yeah, I, I can't believe that I actually didn't die to it earlier, uh, anti-gamer, but I, just, I promise you I'm not lying. I have no idea what the programming for the physics and gravity of this game is. It must be chaos. Oh, really? Sugar sticks. It's okay, I got like two extra continues, I think. So, I'm not upset by that. Wow! Lost a few lives, kind of unnecessarily, but it's not the worst run. I've had worse. Going to go work on a friend's logo. Hey, Lenny, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your holiday as well. Good luck with your friend's logo. I'll see you next time. Ah, that's not what you want. need one tongue upgrade at least. There we go. Slip and slide all the way down. Pain town. Let 
No! Gotta eat enough food to set off the scale. felt condescending. I think you're right. It's mocking me. My tail glowing yet? I can't quite tell. I don't think so. Tail's gonna glow nice, and there it is. Nice and shiny like. Try for the extra life here. Ooh. So slippery, so angled. Ooh. You can do it, Bobby. little time to the time bank. Are you kidding? That is the first time that happened. I am a salt monster. <laughs> mm, it's mocking me with its salty waves. Just when you think you've got the salt monster figured out, it finds new ways to kill you. Oh boy. That's a tough jump. Just working up a sweat here, pressing this controller. Come on, there we go. Well, I felt stuck there for a second. No, come on. Okay, here we go. I'll take that. I'll take that, I guess. I'm not happy about the continue, but I should be at the very top now. remember this game being less rage inducing when I was a kid I used to just play the first few levels and it was fun these last few are painful played very little of it when I was younger <laughs> yeah I mean I must have only played the first four levels over and over well here we go I may only have two lives left I'm really not sure the foot a million times. Okay. I, I beat it. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to chase that thing around a thousand times. The other times it was so hard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. I, it feels a little anticlimactic because I'm tired. <laughs> but we did it. <laughs> Yay. Onto the YouTube it goes for archival purposes. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me in my practice of this game. I'm very pleased with that.